Just because something is old-fashioned doesn't mean it can't be wild and crazy. I'd like you to check out these clear toy candies made right here at the Franklin Fountain in Philadelphia. I mean, you gotta love a candy that you have to break with a hammer to eat. So, uh, no. These fragile figurines look like glass, but believe it or not, they're edible. The Franklin Fountain in Philadelphia recreates an old German tradition when they make clear toy candies. Clear toy is definitely a nostalgic candy that people remember from their youth. Everyone from uh, 40 years on up can remember getting clear toy in a stocking. In the 1800s, clear toy candies used to be called banquet candies. Families displayed them on the dinner table and used a hammer to break them at the end of the meal. Then the host would pass around the pieces to guests for dessert. And how's this for a blast from the past? Their equipment dates back to the 1800s. This is uh, what they call a copper toy pan. It's been in continuous use for about 110 years, and it works just as good as new. And get this, they have more than 250 candy molds. And this mold has been in continuous use since 1897. This mold is actually a ship with impressive, intricate details. It shows a little sailor tugging on the rigging. There's the anchor exquisite detail by these mold makers. The iron and aluminum shapes form everything from toy camels and colorful reindeer to a Santa that stands over a foot tall. The recipe is simple. Six cups sugar to two cups corn syrup, two cups water. A typical clear toy candy batch is about a 10 pound batch. We do four or five batches a day we're doing 50 pounds of clear toys in a day. Then it hits the heat. They boil the mix until it reaches 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Then they add the food coloring. Red and green food dyes were the first food dyes invented. They came from natural sources like beets for red and green came from spinach or other vegetables. Next, they use olive oil to prepare the molds. It lubricates to keep the sugar from sticking to the small crevices in the mold. When the sugar mix reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit, it's time to have a steady hand. It takes concentration, practice. The bubbles rise up and out of the top of the mold to release air. So you won't see many bubbles, if any, in these candies. After less than half an hour, the candy is ready to come out. We use the oyster shuckers to pry the molds open. You can get a lot of leverage with it when the molds stick together. They use paring knives to trim off any excess candy and wipe off the oil before they package them. The clear toy candies range in price from $4 to $28. You can also order them online. These old-fashioned candy figurines can satisfy your sweet tooth and the kid in all of us.